Ascendant Infinity by Play Fusion is, quote, a fresh hybrid mix of intense extraction shooter strategy with the adrenaline of arena shooter weapons and mechanics, all in an eye-catching retro 80s vibe, end quote. How's it going, everybody? My name is Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership, your all-in-one extraction game news source. Let's dive right into Ascendant Infinity. All right, I just want to start with a brisk overview and a disclaimer here. So Ascendant Infinity is in very early alpha stages. So I just want you to keep that in mind while we overview this game. All right, Ascendant, it's a fairly unique extraction shooter. And I use the term extraction shooter kind of loosely because there's a lot going on in this game. It has minute, very, very minute story elements, an interactive hub, which is huge. And it's more of a newer, again, quote unquote, extraction shooter style with no gear fear involved. So it's not like your typical extraction shooter. Obviously, what we will be going over is the mechanics, the hub, and news and updates. If you've been around for my other extraction game videos, overviews, you know what's going on. Starting off with gameplay mechanics, it has a very interesting game intro kind of story driven type thing. I really hope the developers build on this because that would be incredible. You start off kind of just outside the hub and you go through a metal detector thing to the actual main hub up an elevator and such, whatever, yada yada. And in order to start matchmaking, you need to interact with the center console in the hub. Pretty easy. As of right now, there's only a trios game mode to play. I hope that they add duos or quads. I'm not really sure this game would be very fun as a solo, but it could be worth a shot. They might trial run it. I don't really know. Now, they have what's called starter weapons, which are things that everyone starts off with. You can pick one of any of the, I believe, five different starter weapons. There's a sniper, electricity gloves or whatever. Uh, there's a plasma rifle, battle rifle, and I think everybody gets a pistol. I might be missing one, but you pick a starter weapon and then I'll get into later a little bit. When you get to a checkpoint, you get more weapons. I'll get into it later. Next is gonna be the looting style. So I really like the looting style from Ascendant Infinity. It's basically just all the items when you kill somebody or kill something or whatever, just all the items drop on the ground. And you can just visually identify what they are. You can change settings to auto pick them up or you can manually pick them up. And it's super easy, simple, I love it, streamlined. All right, let's talk objectives. So the first objective is gonna be the checkpoint. I don't know exactly what the terminology is, but it's basically a checkpoint from where you first launch into the game. You go to this checkpoint and you scan the map and it shows you a bio core, which will then be your next objective. And that is the main objective is the bio cores and extracting the bio cores. So once you get to the checkpoint, there's a little bit of mechanics that come into play with the checkpoint itself that acts as your respawn station. Yes, there is respawns. That also acts as kind of a protective force field after you respawn. It acts as a power generator, which power is a whole nother mechanic in this game that I probably won't get into in this video. Basically, it's a currency that you use to buy stuff, essentially. There's also a few items that spawn at your respawn checkpoint location, as well as a vehicle, which is the next topic. There's vehicles in Ascendant Infinity, which is f fucking awesome. I just held my F for like three seconds, but you probably couldn't hear it. I, I love the fact that there's vehicles in this game right now. They're only suitable for one person unless you can get an upgrade, which is randomly placed around the map. And then it can fit three people, which is your whole squad. So that's really great. I love that. Moving into the extraction mechanic, once you get and find a bio core, which is basically a form of currency sort of in the hub, you bring it back to your original drop point and you have, I believe it's 60 seconds that you have to defend that location to extract it. Pretty straightforward. Now, what is a bio core? I, I don't know a lot about them because I didn't get a whole lot of time to play Ascendant Infinity. However, what I do know is that when you go to a bio core location, there is going to be a process that you have to go through, basically defending the area in order to collect the bio core while you wait for it to unlock. And along with the bio core is usually a upgraded form of armor. For example, there's tier one armor, tier two armor, tier three armor, and tier four armor. Now, your very first bio core is typically a tier three armor or unlike a tier two. I've never seen that. It's tier three most of the time. And then your second and third bio cores are either going to be tier three or tier four. 
Now there's also this weird thing around biocores. I'm not sure exactly how this mechanic works, but there is a sort of special ability thing, which is kind of my next topic as well. But I don't know if you can only use that when you have the biocores or if it's something that you have to charge up somehow. But there is special abilities or power-ups that you can kind of adjust, you know, along with perks and some other things in the hub and customize your loadout a little bit that way. It seems like a lot of extraction games are trending towards that direction to kind of give you like perks and abilities, etc., etc things like that instead of gear, which, you know, is cool and all. I don't mind it to each their own. Anyways, moving on. Not really much to go into there. If you found this video useful or informative so far, go ahead and drop a sub down below and click that bell if you wish so that you can stay informed on all the extraction game news with me. Next is going to be the hub. I tend to drone on a lot about the gameplay mechanics, and I'm sorry about that. Next, completely interactable hub. Absolutely phenomenal. Multiple different areas. There's a firing range, a parkour area, quote unquote. Not really sure what you would call it. There's tons of different shops. There's salons and saloons for customizing your character and socializing. There's also a very interesting looking prefab area. That's kind of, uh, looks like it's under development. I'm not really sure what's going on over there but it was kind of by the firing range uh, I don't know it looked kind of interesting there was a scoreboard anyways I absolutely love this hub and I hope that the developers build upon it exponentially because it is very phenomenal almost reminds me of the cycle frontier but honestly even better really really love the hub not much else to say about the hub so now we're gonna roll into news updates future plans etc now, at the release of this video, there is going to be an active playtest this weekend, October 7th and October 8th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. So, if you have not already gone on Steam and requested access to Ascendant Infinity, go down in the description and click the link below to request your access right now so that you can get access this weekend to play. Now, keep in mind again, it is only from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time because the developers are based in in the UK and want to make sure that they can keep an eye on the servers while they run in case for some reason something happens. Now, I just want to inform you that there is a very active Discord server that you can also join. I will most likely have the link in the description for that as well. If I do not, please leave a comment and let me know. So, unfortunately, there is no official roadmap. PlayFusion is kind of a small development company or team, so, you know, I'm sure they're wanting to focus on their game and not building a roadmap, and roadmaps aren't very popular anyways. PlayFusion has openly admitted that they are mainly focused on gameplay over graphics to start with, that is. They have stated in the past that they are mainly focused on, is the game fun? They want to focus on making a fun game before they really focus on anything else. So if you do end up playing the alpha, don't be surprised if it, you know, it's not optimized, the graphics aren't the best, they're focusing on the gameplay first. Now, if you want to stay updated with specifically Ascendant Infinity news and information, the Discord server is the place to be for all of the news on Ascendant Infinity. They have sneak peeks, they have playtest news, they have announcement news, they have like update news. There's like a whole news section of their Discord server and it's phenomenal. I absolutely love that and I hope they keep that because that is muy bueno. The dev team is very, very active and receptive to the players. There is a massive amount of people in their Discord server and there are a good hand of the devs that try to talk to as many people as they can. There's a whole feedback section on the Discord server. This dev team really knows what they're doing and they're taking care of their game like it is an absolute baby. And other than that, for the news, I really don't have much else other than that. I didn't really even bother going looking for leaks because this game is in such early pre-alpha state and uh, is kind of doesn't have a whole lot of notoriety yet. And to be honest, with how close I've gotten with the community already, I didn't really want to kind of go out and do that to them, if you know what I mean. But anyways, if there's something I didn't mention that you wish I would have, leave a comment down below and let me know. Other than that, stick around for more Extraction Game news, and we'll talk again real soon. Peace!